So I'm making this video because I was trying to upgrade the firmware on my dad's Turnigy uh, TGYI6. He bought his before I bought mine, and his firmware on his was dated, I think, uh, 2014 or something. Uh, mine was 2015 date, and mine would show you the uh, name of a uh, of the model you were flying. His would not. So I couldn't find a good video showing me how to do the firmware, so I thought I'd make one uh, and put it out there for you guys as well as for myself so I could remember how to do it. So uh, here's what I went through to accomplish it. I picked up the Banggood's uh, cable, which plugs into the back of it. Uh, from Banggood's, I think it was like five bucks out of the U.S. warehouse. You can Google it, find it. Um, and then, of course, the Turnigy radio, which is the same as the Fly Sky. So I'll show you uh, how we'll get it done. First, we're going to turn that on, make sure switches are in the right position, and we're going to uh, get into the menu. Let me switch hands here. So. show you the current firmware I've got on there right now. I just upgraded the Turnigy software. I'm oh, sorry, the FlySky I put on there, which is the uh, basic FlySky uh, firmware that was out. And I think this is uh, similar to what was on it before I upgraded the Turnigy. So I'll go back out of there. And we'll go down to firmware update. And I'm going to leave it right there for just a second as I get the software ready. So if we take a look at the software... Um, this is the one I loaded right here, which was the original, and we're going to go back to the Turnigy i6 firmware that I just downloaded today. And we're going to right-click and run that as administrator. Yes. I already know mine's set on COM3, but you can check it under Device Manager when you plug it in. And then uh, it's Windows 7, so I just told it to uh, search for the drivers for the uh, USB uh, connection to the computer. Um, so I'm going to say open port and if I'm doing any of this wrong well I don't know it works. So uh, so I said open port and then I'm going to go back to the radio where it says uh, this will enter your uh, firmware update mode and halt all function blah blah blah. So I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to say yes Okay, now if I go back to the screen, you'll see now it actually says Turnigy i6 1.10. It didn't say that before. Now I'm going to click the program button. And there it goes, programming away. Now it's done, and you heard the radio beep, and you'll see the screen is actually back, and now it says Turnigy. So... I'm going to turn it off, cycle it, so I'm going to turn it off for a second, back on, and that's how you update the firmware, but I'm going to continue on, so I'll show you the uh, process of putting, turning it into a 10 channel, uh, supposedly, so here we go, so I'm going to go back to here, I'm going to close this, and we're going to back up. And this time we're going to load the original firmware for FlySky back on there. So run as administrator. Yes. Okay, that's up. So I want to go back over here. And let's use this hand. Pardon me, I'm not the greatest camera guy. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go back into the menu. And system. And down to firmware update. Oh, sorry. I'll show you the current firmware that's on there. My apologies. I didn't show you that before. Turnigy, there it is. And you'll see the date is January. Uh, the previous one that was on there was like 2014. And mine was uh, this date. And so mine would display the name. His wouldn't. My dad's. Which is this one. So we'll go back out of that. Let me get down to firmware here. Firmware update. And I'm going to click open port, because I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not, but I'll click open port. And then I'm going to say OK. Oops, wrong button. Firmware OK. 
Okay, are you sure? Yes. Okay. And now you'll notice it says uh, FlySky i6 uh, 1.1 there. And I'm going to go ahead and program it back to the basic fly sky. When I was reading in the forums, it said you have to put the, the basic fly sky on there first, and then you could upgrade to the 10 channel or 8 10 channel upgrade patch or whatever that was out there. So that's done. Screen reboots. Now it says fly sky again. And I'm going to power cycle it off and back on just to be safe. Okay, so there's a number of updates it also says it does, and one of them is annoying where it beeps at you uh, when you leave the controller set for, I don't know what the time length is, but it, evidently it makes that time length longer so it doesn't beep at you so much. And this time we're going to go to um, this one right here, which is a 10-channel mod I got off a website, and I'll try to put a link in the notes if I can remember it to you. And I'm going to run that one as administrator. And this is the mod to give you the 10 channel. So again, I'm going to open the port. I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to go into the menu. Oops. Okay. Show you one more time that I've got the basic FlySky firmware on there. There's the basic FlySky firmware. Oops, bumping the controller. Then I'm going to go down to firmware update. Say OK. Say OK again. Arrow over to yes. Say OK. Now you'll notice it says. Uh, Fly Sky i6 1.1 there, and now I'm going to go ahead and click program. There it is. Now that's done, and I'll show you. It uh, still shows Fly Sky, but I'm going to power cycle it once here. So back off, back on. I don't know if you have to power cycle it, I just like to do it. Um, and I'm going to go into the menu and say system and now I'm going to go down to firmware version and by the way you can I did this and then I turned around and loaded all the firmwares back on there back to basic so you can go backwards if you don't like this firmware and you'll see now it says original firmware fly sky and modified firmware so I don't know if that means both of them are on there or that's the one it was modified from. I didn't read the forms real well. Probably should have. Anyway. So we'll say okay there. And I'm gonna go back up. So you'll notice it. sticks mode still looks the same. And oh, let's just get out of there. And I'll show you on setup where it shows all 10 channels real quick just so you can see it. So reverse, it's only going to show you just the six channels to reverse because... And then when you get down here to auxiliary channels, now you'll see uh, all the way to 10. And you can actually set these, each one for... Uh, so, for instance, this one's set on uh, VBR, which are these, right, A and B up here. I don't know if you see my fingers, A and B. And the true VBR is set. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK past that one, that one. So now I can put channel 7 on... Oops. On switch A. And then we're going to put channel 8 on... Switch B, put channel 9 on switch C, switch D, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. I'm not going to go through it all. It's just silly. But you can see it's there. haven't played with it more than this. Um, I only have a six channel. Uh, the sub trims only shows through six. 
Um, dual rates, I think. Uh, only showed you the three still. Um, throttle mix, all on. Switch assignments. So, anyway, uh, that's as much as I've done with the 10 channel programming. Uh, but I wanted to show everybody how to do a firmware. Hope you enjoy.